Hi, I'm Phil, and today I'm going to show you how to take aerial video that looks like this and transform it into something that looks like a scale model, like a miniature diorama of a rural area. To me, it's interesting that a diorama artist will build models intended to look like the real thing, while we, on the other hand, will be taking actual real-world video shot with my Mavic Mini drone and changing it to look fake as if it was a highly detailed diorama. We accomplished this using an effect called Tilt Shift. Now, there are many videos on how to implement Tilt Shift using various video editing or special effects software. I wanted to figure out how to achieve this effect in Camtasia Studio. So the big difference between taking aerial video and videoing a scale model is the distance between the camera lens and the subject. In this scene, we're somewhere around 50 meters above the subject. To make this scene look like a diorama, we need to make it appear as if we are just a few centimeters above the subject, as if we were using macro videography. So, what's the main difference when you view objects up close? The answer is depth of field. Here's a photo I took in Fiji of a hermit crab. The parts of the scene that are closest to the camera lens are blurry. The parts that are furthest from the lens are blurry. There's only a narrow band in which objects are in focus. And this is the first effect that we're going to try to duplicate. Let's get started. Here we have our original clip at the bottom of the timeline. Now we want to blur the top and bottom of the clip. To do that we select Annotations and then click the Special icon and then drag the Blur icon onto a new layer of the timeline. Now instead of putting a blur rectangle at the top of the clip and another at the bottom, place the blur across the middle of the clip and then click the Invert box. Now everything outside of the rectangle is blurred, which is what we were after. So let's see how that looks. Hmm, not great. It looks as though we're peering through a pane of frosted glass with a clear section in the middle. There's also a very sharp line between the blurry parts and the sharply focused area. So we need a way to feather the blur to make it less blurry toward the center and more blurry at the top and bottom edge. Let's start by making the blur less intense. Let's say set it to 50% intensity. And let's uh, move it further from the center. Next, add another layer of blur by copying the existing layer and pasting it into the layer above. Let's reduce the intensity of the new blur to 40% and let's pull the top and bottom closer to the center of the clip. We can move the new blur up and down until the guidelines show that we are in the center. Well, that's better, but we're not there yet. Let's add four more layers of blur using 30, 20, 10, and 5% intensity, with each new, less blurry layer being closer to the center. Now we're starting to see the diorama effect. Let's think about how we can improve it. First off, our focal point is right in the vertical center of the screen. 
If I were videoing a tabletop diorama, I think that I would want the focal point to show the objects closest to me, to show more detail. So let's move all of the blur items down in the scene and line them all up on their center point. Okay, now that looks nice. Now the format of our video is widescreen. If we look at our hermit crab again, we can see just a little bit of blur on the far left and right because those points are a little further from the center of the lens. So let's pull the sides of the blur items in just a little. Nice. Just one more thing to consider, and that's color. Let's look at a photo of a landscape with objects at various long distances. In the foreground, we can see the green of the trees. On the closer set of hills, we can see that they are green, but kind of muted with a gray cast. The distant hills are gray with a dark green cast. And finally, the mountains way in the distance have taken on the color of the sky just a few shades darker. So we can conclude that as you view objects through more of the atmosphere, more color gets filtered out. Conversely, we can conclude that the closer an object, the more vibrant the colors will be. This would be especially true for scale modelers who are probably likely to use fresh, vibrant paint. So let's boost the color. In Camtasia, go to the Visual Effects menu and drag color adjustment down onto the original video clip. Camtasia's default behavior is to boost brightness and contrast and to remove all color. Well, we want to restore the original brightness and contrast by setting their values to zero. At the same time, let's boost saturation just as high as it will go. And there you go. Here's a lovely, brightly painted scale model diorama at a nice rural area of farmland and homes. So if you're thinking of trying the shift tilt technique, shoot your video looking down at about a 45 degree angle. Don't shoot straight down because uh, then almost everything should be in focus and you won't get the effect. At the same time, don't shoot at a shallow angle where you can see the horizon. Scale models are often built on a very large tabletop, but those tables don't extend horizontally forever, so seeing the horizon could detract from the effect. Finally, if you'd like to see a set of truly amazing tilt-shift examples, search The Late Show Open Director's Cut on YouTube. You may have seen a small part of the video in the opening sequence of The Late Show with Stephen Colbert, but the full-length version will absolutely blow your mind. Where possible, I'll provide a link in the YouTube description or in comments that um, might accompany this video. So, thank you for watching this video, 
and don't hesitate to like it or to leave me a comment. <laughs>